Hello and welcome to the episode 324 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, Pate films The Beatles Live, BBC films John Lennon running in the field with friends, and Radio Luxembourg tapes Paul McCartney talking about the White Album. Let's start with a continuation of the first Hamburg residency of the Beatles. On the 20th of November 1960, the band, still featuring Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, was on the stage of the Kaiser Keller, alternating shifts with Rory Storm and the Hurricanes. The real news of the day, though, was that during a routine check, the German authorities found out that George Harrison was under 18 years of age and that he was breaking the law by working with the Beatles every night. This meant deportation. George stood up all night to teach all of his parts to John Lennon so that the Beatles could continue to perform without him. Two years later, in 1962, the Beatles, now in their definitive lineup with John and George on guitar, Paul on bass, and Ringo on drums, performed two one hour sets at the Floral Hall in Southport. On this date in 1963, the Beatles were busy with their autumn tour. Today's two concerts were at the ABC Cinema in Manchester. The date was memorable because two songs from the show, She Loves You and Twist and Shout, were filmed by Pate News. The footage, combined with backstage sequences, was turned into an eight-minute color newsreel called The Beatles Come to Town, distributed in selected British cinemas in the week of the 22nd of December. During the same night, Granada TV had a crew shooting backstage, conducting their own interview with the band. In it, the Beatles talked about their upcoming visit to the United States. The material was broadcast on the 6th of January 1964, between 6.30 and 7 p.m., foreseen at 6.30. Finally, BBC Radio's Michael Barton interviewed the band for Voice of the North, aired that same evening between 6.10 and 6.30 pm. Barton also taped an interview alone with George Harrison about the relationship between the Liverpool and the Hamburg rock scenes, to be broadcast on the 27th of November between 8 and 8.30 pm. On the 20th of November 1964, John Lennon was with Dudley Muir and Norman Rossington at the Wimbledon Common, London, to film part of his appearance on the first episode of Not Only, but also a comedy program for BBC Two. The trio filmed a short surrealistic film sequence to accompany the reading of John's Deaf Ted, Danuta and Me from his book in his own right. It was an early morning job, completed by mid-morning. The debut of the program was on the 9th of January 1965, between 9.20 and 10 pm. On this date in 1966, Beatles manager Brian Epstein threw a party at his London home to celebrate the performance the Four Tops had held at his Saville Theatre seven days before. The party was attended by John Lennon and George Harrison. Another party is approaching with the end of the recordings of this podcast. It was quite a task to complete, and we're getting there, and we're also getting to the point in which I will start to film the new contents I have planned. What a better time to make a difference and influence my work? Visit www.simonmas.com support and see how you can support me during the creation. And drop me a line to tell me what you loved about this podcast and what you would have done differently. Thank you! In 1967, as usual, the never-ending work on the editing of the Magical Mystery Tour film continued at Norman's Film Productions. 
Let's close the show with another interview. In 1968, Paul McCartney was with Radio Luxembourg program director Tony McCarter to talk about the new Beatles LP, The White Album. Paul commented that the new material was easier to perform live, hinting at the possible return to live performances after more than two years away from the world stages, and that the new album was another step forward from Sgt. Pepper's, despite taking a different direction. The interview, recorded at Paul's house, was aired on the 21st of November, between 7.30 and 9.30 pm, as part of a program focusing on the Beatles. Tomorrow we will have a couple of not-so-good news, but we'll also talk about George Harrison appearing on a Cream record. Will you be there to find out more? We'll see. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.